Good day, everyone. We are now moving forward to the last part of this module, the readability and readability formulas. Now, this supplementary lesson on readability can be very useful to us. Readability, as we previously said in this module, is relatively the understandability of a piece of written material in one pass. Simply put, a written material can be readable if a person is able to understand it in just one reading. However, beyond that practical measure, there are also formulas invented in order to calculate the readability of written materials. Some of the examples are the Rudolf Flesch readability formula, the closure test, and the Robert Gunning fog index. Now, these readability formulas are useful because they can be considered means to indicate the difficulty of written material according to the skill by grade school level needed to understand it. However, though, they are not designed to measure the quality of writing. Very important to take note as well what Robert Gunning said, I quote, Use the formula as a guide after you have written, but not as a pattern before you write. Good writing must be alive. Don't kill it with system. So for this particular topic, we are going to find the Robert Gunning Fog Index of a certain passage, and it has three steps to do so. First two steps are given to us. First, randomly choose any passage from a work under study. Then count 100 words. Stop the sentence count with the sentence nearest the 100, but not over it. Step two, divide the total number of words in the passage with the number of sentences. This will give us the average sentence length of the passage. So I have here an example. In this paragraph or in this passage, the 100 word fell on the article A and our counting stopped at the word restrictions as it is the word nearest to the 100 word. Going back to the step two, we have to divide the total number of words in the passage with the number of sentences. So we have 83 divided by 4, which now gives us the average sentence length of 20.8 or 20.8 words in a sentence. So now we are going to determine the readability of the passage based on the average sentence. So since 20.8 fell under the standard to fairly difficult, we can say now that the passage is between average or standard to fairly difficult to understand. Please take note that the average sentence length for most newspapers is 17 to 20 words. Now, classmates, not only the sentence length, but the words used in the sentence can also determine the readability based on Gunning's fog index. So we have this formula derived, average sentence length, plus the number of difficult words and the sum to be multiplied with the constant 0 0.4. So to, for us to know the index of readability based on the number of words, we have to count the words with three syllables or more. Don't count the words that are name or proper nouns, combinations of two short, easy words like bookkeeper, butterfly, countersign, etc., and verbs, forms, are made in three syllables by adding ing, ed, or es like created or trespasses. So going back with our sample passage, we have here all the difficult words or words with three syllables written in red. So we have here a list of eight difficult words. So to further, with the Gunning Fog Index Step 3, we have to add the average sentence length and the total number of difficult words, then multiply the sum by 0 0.4. So we have 20.8 average sentence length plus 8 difficult words. And again, the sum to be multiplied with 0 0.4, that will give us now an index of 11.52. So for us to determine the readability of this passage through this fog index table, we can determine that 11.52 fell under fairly to understand 
by high school uh, senior students and high school junior students. Therefore, this passage or this material is fairly easy to read and understand by some high school students. So, it's not that bad. So, moving forward, I would also like to share with you what Brian Scott said in his article on the application of gun fog index in different sectors. In education, the fog index helps tailor learning materials to students. It ensures texts suit their comprehension levels. Teachers, therefore, find it an invaluable ally. They can choose books and design lessons that are just challenging now. Journalists, too, find the FOG Index useful. Guides them to write articles that their readers can grasp. It nudges them to simplify sentences and choose simpler words. Businesses or businessmen and women also benefit from the FOG Index. It helps them craft clear and concise messages. Whether in marketing materials or internal communications, clarity reigns supreme. Likewise, healthcare professionals use the FOG Index to develop patient information materials. It is crucial that health-related documents are easily understood by patients, regardless of their literacy levels. So, the FOG Index aids healthcare providers in creating clear and concise patient communication, thus ensuring that health instructions and medical information are comprehensible to all. Relatively, lawyers and legal professionals use the FOG Index to assess and improve the readability of these documents. By simplifying language and reducing sentence length, they can make legal jargon more accessible to clients and the public. Government agencies use the FOG Index to make their communications more transparent and understandable. These agencies need to communicate a wide range of information to the public, from new policies to safety guidelines. Even in the world of technology, software developers and user experience designers use the FOG Index to create user-friendly interfaces and documentation. Clarity instructions and guidelines is essential for an optimal user experience. Lastly, writers and editors in all fields make use of the Gunning Plug Index. Whether they're crafting a novel, editing an article, or producing content for a website, they turn to the Fog Index as a way to gauge and adjust the readability of their work. So to sum up this part of the module, we have three pointers. Readability is affected not only by the length of the material, but also by the difficulty of words used. A writer should strive to keep his material clear and concise without leaving out necessary details and without sacrificing coherence and the smooth flow of ideas. A writer should be careful about the words being used and keep in mind the audience being written for. So that is all classmates. Thank you and God bless.